Take the four corners out then. You've got two pre-shaped poles, one with the green on, goes at the bottom of the tent, and this is the main the main pole arch. And then you go and then you just thread it through these little sleeves on the inner. And you've got a couple of eyelets there, look. Have you got that? Yep. And you just put that in the eyelet. There's another one over here, do the same again. Right. Easily done. Again, thread it into the eyelets. Outer over the seam lines up with the pole, and then there's two Velcro fasteners which go on the uh, pole like that. Look, see little Vel Velcros, and they go on there like that. Do the same this side, same again from down here. Into the short arch. Then just peg it out. Inner zip along the bottom, and one vertical one, and then the door has a toggle tie as well. So I go in, I tend to go in feet first. <coughs> See that? It's only when you're in it that you realize how big it is. That gives you an idea of the, uh, the space inside. There's my feet touching the bottom of the tent now. And what I normally do is put my backpack here, put a fleece on top of it or whatever, and that's my pillow. So nothing's outside. There's enough space between the inner and the outer along here where you can put your boots and your pots and pans and bits of stuff around the sort of inside. Now because it's all mesh, the inside is just a very fine, like mosquito mesh. Um, it's not, it's certainly not a winter tent. I don't think anything can compare to this for uh, space. Other, other sort of the leading brands, the tiny, the, the really small, and you know, you've got to put your pack outside if you're tall. If you can, and you can't lay full length in it. I can lay full length in this, and as you see, it only takes just a couple of minutes to put up. Dead easy. So you can do stealth camping easily. Yeah. You know, stick it up somewhere. It's low profile. It's green. It blends in. The only annoying thing about this tent, apart from the zips which snag on every tent, um, when you close this door at night, this toggle to tie the thing back, if you're tall, it lines perfectly up with my nose. It just irritates the hell out of me all the night, you know. So it's very tempting to chop this off, but I haven't done it yet. So I think really what you need to do, snug pack, is just move this up about, uh, about six inches, and then it won't touch my nose. It's a minor design flaw in my opinion but everything else is uh, tip top. And because this inner is off your face, you don't get too claustrophobic, you know? 
some of these bivvies in these like uh, Gore-Tex oval bags that are uh, awfully claustrophobic and but uh, this is just uh, it's a perfect you know a perfect blend between a tent and a bivvy there's no porch on it so you have to like you know you do your cooking here um, if it's raining you kind of you have to wait till it stops raining really but when I did when I did the coast to coast um, there was some serious weather in the lakes really real downpour and this bathtub design really worked because there was a field that was sopping wet. I mean, it was almost flooded really, but it didn't come over. And it was perfectly waterproof. The top, perfectly waterproof. It was really put to the test, you know. So with the outer removed, if it's a nice night and there's no threat of any rain, like tonight might be all right actually, you can just use this to keep the bugs off you, sleep in this, which is fab, you know. But, uh, can you see now where my feet are? My feet are just at the bottom there. And I've got I've got all this space up here, look, above my head. Can you see that there, look? All that space. There you go. I'm just a boy, fair and stranger, traveling through. No sickness, toll, no danger in that bright land to which I go.